hello welcome to C sharp version 7 feature tutorials digit separators brought to you by Ankpro technologies my name is Harish so in this session we are going to learn about the other feature of C sharp version 7 that is digit separators so first let us understand what is digit separator a digit separator is one or more underscore characters added inside of a numeric literal to enhance readability in a code so I repeat what do you mean by digit separator you have a numeric literal so between that numerical literal we can add a underscore character such that it improves the readability of that numeric literal so at that point of time we have to make use of this digit separator okay the underlying value whatever the underscore whatever we are going to add there it's not going to affect the numeric literal at all okay and this digi separators were added in the Java version 7 and if you have worked with the large numeric values, sometimes it's difficult to read the number after it grows beyond about seven digits. Okay, this is a common problem what we face. Okay, if our numeric value is are, is uh, beyond seven digits, we feel uncomfortable to read that digit. So if I separate them with the underscore, that is digit separator, then I can improve the readability of my numeric literal. Okay, and digit separators are easy, and it's an easy win for the C sharp team. Uh, and it's very low overhead and lots of practical applicability is done with the help of this digit separators so without wasting much time let me show you a demo of it and here comes the code snippet you get you can observe very clearly I have a binary number variable hexadecimal and a simple variable called data and it's of type int and we have double a variable called real and this is what number or a specified year and I'm printing that so what I'm doing here is you can observe here this is a binary number so what I'm doing is I am separating each four digits by this underscore such that it improves the readability of my program okay and similarly I done it for all the things so let me code the same example in my visual studio and let me show you a demo of it so let me jump into visual studio and here comes that so now what I'll do is first let me take an integer and let me add a binary number so in the last session we learned like how to get a binary literal by adding 0b and 1001 so then I'm going to add 010 and triple zero one and zero one double zero so now what I'll do is control dot right line I'll just print that variable bin so now when I run this application let me show you the output what we are going to get so you can observe at the left corner build started you can observe here now let's wait for that to give the output it's a console application right so let's wait, wait for that it takes some time for the first run so now it's been giving the output yeah we got output and the value is 39444 so we can observe very clearly the number is very big so if I need to improve the readability of the program what I do is I'll just add underscore after each four numbers so this is the underscore so this improves my readability of the numeric literal you can observe very clear this binary literal we have here now we can read it we can understand this literal very easily because it's been each four values is separated by this underscore this is what we call digit separator and this underscore what we are added it's not going to affect the output so you can observe here we'll get the same output 3944 it just to increase the readability of the program we add this underscores similarly I can do it for the other number like data and if I store 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so I can separate each of them by multiple underscores is not only one and again year two and year also so this is how I can improve the readability of my program by just adding the underscore so now let me print that also it is data control fi and we get the output this number one two three four five six seven eight nine this is what about the digit separators is okay and now let me add some of them int like decimal so it's so let me don't take this or let me add something like int wait so let me add something like one underscore triple zero 
um, let me uh, let me take a decimal point one one triple one then let me add underscore again and one e to the base of so again one or let me take any number again let me add underscore let me take this number so now let me print this so we are getting uh, error here why because so it's underscore so let me it's a integer right so let me I want to change it to double now the error goes yes so let me print that it's a weed the variable name is weed let me run this program so this is the value what we're getting zero so this is how we can separate our numeric literal with the underscore such that the readability of the program improves so this is what about the small feature of C sharp version 7 that is digit separators so apart from this what we're going to learn is we're going to understand the limitations of using this digit separators they cannot be used as the first or last digit in the numeric value in the sense I can I can't I can't add this numeric this underscore at the starting so I can't add like this so when I do that I'll get an error you can observe very clearly here that's the limitation of using this digit separator nor I can add it at the end again we'll get the error here so this is what the disadvantage or the limitation of using that digit separator so apart from that we have uh, another few limitations they may not appear next to a decimal so you I can't do like this after zero if I have a decimal point before that I can't place this underscore so uh, where is my decimal point yeah now can I place a decimal underscore here no it does not allow that so that's the other limitation of uh, limit separator digit separators nor it cannot cannot be used to the exponential character so after this okay exponential character I can't use that okay underscore so here is my I can't use underscore after this exponential character again I get an error here so this is what the limitations of the digit separator nor it cannot be used to the type specifier okay for example uh, if I take a floating point number uh, if I take a floating point number uh, if oh, four or let me take it as foo uh, it's my favorite variable name so let me specify like 10 dot two five f sorry it's a 10 so now after this I'll add a suffix sorry this underscore and does not work this is what is a limitation of using the digit separator so but I can can I add it here and it works yes it works very well but I can't add that same thing okay here it throws me an error so that's the limitation of using it digit separator okay and now it cannot be used to the hexadecimal or binary prefix characters so we can do this but you can't do this one so this is the limitation of using the digit separators so I hope you understood like what is digit separator and also we learned some of the limitations of using the digit separators so uh, finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankpro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer our website we're on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day